Hi, I'm Clyde Thompson, and I'm an epic teacher. And today I'll be working with Alina, a math student, sixth grade math. And after viewing Alina's data report, I found the area where she's a little bit behind in, not much. Uh, so I wrote up a lesson plan to help Alina understand geometry and measurements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something that all kids like, and that's candy. So I'm gonna use a piece of candy and we're gonna use this candy to help Alina understand measurement. We're gonna talk about a previous lesson that we had with fractions that Alina did very well in. So if we could, if I can get this candy open there, we can get this lesson going, can't we? It's a little hard getting it open, but we got it. I should have let Alina open it. I bet she could open it a lot faster than I can, can't you, girl? I bet you can. So anyway, uh, we're getting this candy open, Alina. And I have a extra one for you, Alina. I'm going to set this here for you, Alina. And I'm going to use a piece of candy that I brought in. And, and Alina, we have four small pieces of candy for equal pieces. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these pieces together. We'll butt them together. So those four equal pieces of candy made one piece of candy. Now I'm gonna take the tape measure and we have a tape measure that has the uh, increments labeled to make it easier for kids to, under to understand. So what we'll do is we'll take a full measurement of this candy and the full measurement, what do you see, Elena? You see 10? Ah, I thought you did, so do I. I see 10 also. So now, <clears throat> let's take those four pieces and separate them. So now, Elena, we have four equal pieces. We started out with one whole piece. So we got four equal pieces. So now we got one fourth. This is two fourths. If we put two fourths together, it makes a half. We got three fourths. And once we put four fourths together, it's back home. So we'll use this candy right here and we're gonna use some other things to show Alina. Well, to help Alina read this tape measure and understand what these increments are all about. It's all about those fractions that you did so well on Alina. All right, so we'll come back to that. And you'll get to have this candy, and you're going to be able to do it for me here in a minute. Now, also, we're going to talk about shapes. So shapes is about the number of sides. So right now, Alina, we have a rectangle. Would you agree? I thought you would. And what makes this a rectangle, Alina? You say four sides that's not equivalent to each other? I agree with you. All right, so Elena, what I want you to do is I want you to take this tape measure and you're gonna measure each side and you're gonna label the sides. You're gonna write down the sides for me. So you'll measure each side and you'll write the sides down for me on your paper and you're going to uh, tell me what makes this a rectangle. And then you're gonna describe the length of each side. And then what I want you to do, Elena, to finish this lesson up, I want you to uh, take this same piece of paper and a piece of scissors, well, not a piece of scissors, but these scissors, and I want you to make this into a square. So you know what identifies a square, four equal sides. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your tape measure and you're gonna mark four equal sides. And once you do that, you're gonna cut this paper and change this from a rectangle to a square. And uh, 
hopefully Alina, this will give you a better understanding of, of what sides it. I mean, what, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this will give you a better understanding of the shapes. And again, shapes are identified by the sides. So once you make that square, Alina, then we could cut off equal sides and make a polygon. And you're going to tell me what a polygon is and what identifies a polygon. All right, so uh, I'm going to let Alina get to work. And mom and dad, if you want to, you guys can work with her. Uh, and let her explain this to you guys, and I'll be back to see how Alina does. Thank you.